Oh my holy crap! Oh my, oh my god! Alan Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo! Baby Flo! <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. Alan Taylor will win! You grab the new horse out of our champion Flo! It's one of her babies for baby Flo! For low to the Flo? Flash money! Flash money! Oh, the flash money! What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this trailer situation, which, by the way, Harlow, Jesse's daughter, I've been teaching her to say situation because, like, Jersey Shore days, and she says situation. Anyway, I digress. The trailer situation has been a long time coming, so I think that I sent the trailer off in October-ish. Um, we delivered it to Arizona, and then we just had it picked up um, in February, Brand, my baby, was two weeks later than we thought he was actually going to be. So it kind of threw the whole schedule off of us, like realizing how soon we were going to go places. Anyway, we decided that we would take a look at the trailer right after Brand was born, a couple of days after he was born. Okay, we're going to look inside this trailer for the very first time. Here's the thing. I didn't give her any inspo one because I love Lavender Moon Spaces and I've followed her for a really, really long time. The other thing is like... I just told her I'm having a baby, we heat up meals. That's kind of it. So I really didn't give her any instruction and this is the very first horse trailer she's ever done. So that being said, <laughs> let's look at it. <laughs> I'm nervous though. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my holy crap. Oh my, oh my God. God. Oh my, oh my God. God. Check this out. There is, there's our cooler and it's running right now, Perfect. hooked up to solar. Everything is solar. Nothing is plugged in. So there's that. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Let me get this little wug. Let me get this little wug. Hello. Okay. You come here. You come here. Hang on. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to put you here. Wait right there. We'll open it. Okay. And there's all the stuff. Oh, don't put your little hands in there. It goes down. That's so cool. There's that. And then there's a microwave. And then there's like, it's just a vibe. <laughs> there's spit everywhere. It's just a vibe. And what is this? Oh, this is the AC. There's AC and heat. Dad, there's AC and heat. There's eight with remote. And here's the remote for it. There's the chargers. Here's where the hats go. Here's where. Oh, yeah, there's no closet now. I know. Oh, God. Yeah, found the inlaid lights in the white. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Lilo, Lilo. Get your shoes off that bed, girl. I threw up. <laughs> <laughs> Is that crazy? 
I've seen. I know. Oh. Look at it. You can't stand up with your own And so there. then you can like, you know, do the breastfeeding thing here. Yeah. Suitcases. I don't know. So cool. Clothes? I'm just like, not sure. You can't pass without our separated clothes. I feel like if we put them in baskets, that. That's the way to go. Yeah, let's just do a basket each of our. Did you see this? Sure. That's a great idea. And then maybe suitcases in the back of the truck. And then let's get a little thing for our spices and oh, kitchen. Oh, sweet. Perfect. Whoa, that's yeah. freezing. Yeah, it's literally freezing. Yeah. This is not what I expected <laughs> in the best way. Yeah. Is it not? Like, is this not crazy? Where's this dad? Amazing. Where'd he go? So it's actually solar. Yes, the whole thing. Hello. Yeah, the whole thing. I didn't realize how cool the freaking walls are. Like, those are, like, the... I don't know. That's just way more detailed than I thought it was because this was like just a dressing room. But like like miniature canned lighting. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just the cute it's full on drywall. Walls. This is this is what gets me. I'm going to put a picture of our family right here, but there's like yeah, it's like drywalled walls. It's not drywall, but you know what I'm saying. And then here's a picture frame that doesn't move. And then like just this has never moved by the way, in the trailer. This has never moved. If you <laughs> if you want to decorate your horse room, look, there's another one up there just chilling. Like, you know, it's yeah. it, earthy and you have, it's just, it's amazing. Um, these have never moved. I'm going to show you guys another secret why nothing has ever moved in this trailer too in just a little while. If you followed me for very long, you know that Poppy is my dad, one, and two, a huge part of my rodeo career. And he invented this like in the early 90s for me to haul around with all the time. And he's offering them to the public. So a few people have them. Um, NFR qualifiers have them. There's some big fraternity trainers that have these. They last forever. This is the My Air Hitch. It's an air ride system for your trailer hitch. This is unlike an air ride system that goes on your trailer because that doesn't take the buck out of the truck and the trailer. This actually is a system that goes on the trailer no matter what truck you hook up, it's going to take all the buck out of it. So a lot of these trailers, they ripple down the sides once you haul them for just a little while. That's because of all the action and the, the vibration that it takes from the road if you have air ride on the back or not. So this helps to actually ease that and make for a lot better maintenance later on, higher resale value when you go to sell it. And these bad boys can be taken off in five minutes and put on any other trailer that you buy so that if you sell your trailer, you can take it with you where you can't do that with air ride that you have installed on your trailer. So the Meyer hitch is amazing. We're gonna provide a link down below so you guys can get one. Um, Poppy hand makes these in the United States of America and we're so proud of that at 82 years old. He's still doing entrepreneurship entrepreneurial stuff and he is my inspiration so you guys make sure and go check those out. what's crazy is I told her I was like I know this is really strange but I thrive with like plants and vibes so if you could make it super vibey and green like my house that would be really awesome she's never seen my house and somehow got basically my house in here in this really small space so this is a horse trailer just intended for this to be a dressing room um, there was this little, this situation to get up into the bed and that's about it. And now we have a full changing table for brand, a freaking accent wall. Like I, I would have never that, would you have ever thought of that Cody? Like, hey, we're going to like, oh, put an, put an accent wall. Like, or maybe if this was like, like a tiny home, yeah. you would think like, oh, I'd want something really pretty. I basically was looking for something very functional. Um, for all of us. So when Cody's driving, she's done driving. It's the 4th of July. She can come back here and rest and we can all just rotate out as we drive and go. Um, that was kind of my thought process. We get to the rodeo, somebody gets to rest and then we rotate out. Um, I just didn't, this has blown my mind to be quite honest, blown my mind. I've never met, um, Gloria with lavender moon spaces in person. I, this is not sponsored in any way and I paid full retail. So this isn't sponsored in any way. However, I DM'd her on Instagram to make this whole deal happen, paid via PayPal, dropped the trailer off of Cody, never having met her, left her the keys and sight unseen, I didn't see one progress pick and then picked it up and this is what I got. Just so you know, like level of, if you hire her to do something like this, like that's the level of trust that we went in with. But this like, this moment, is just a whole vibe. Plus this is storage up here. So I'm loving this. These have never moved. And then this is the little remote for the AC unit, which you just pop on and it's super quiet. And it, it, first of all, 
If you've owned a horse trailer, let me turn it off. If you have owned a living quarters horse trailer, you know that if it's summer and it's 120 degrees in El Paso, Texas, for instance, because I've been there with my AC not working, your AC, when it comes on, takes it a really long time for it to cool. I don't know what the deal is with, it's got a water unit on the side wall that we keep filled up for this. I don't know if it's because it's solar, there's no generator. So everything you're seeing is powered by solar, which I just think is the coolest. It wasn't the cheapest, um, but if you've ever had a $6,000 generator break, you will know that solar is probably a really great alternative because I don't really have to worry about much with it. Um, but these AC units on horse trailers typically aren't that strong and um, your generator has got to be perfectly maintained and full of gas. What if you run out of gas, then you've got no AC. I could go on and on and on of why I love this AC unit, even though the trailer is really beautiful and that's really great. It's the function for me. That's so incredible. Um, this trailer has been sitting here unused. Like we've used it maybe three times in the last month and a half and we've never plugged it in. We've never had to do any kind of maintenance on it. We filled up the water tanks for the horses. Um, but this is, all, this is all we've done is just like, here you go. Right here you can see, oh, by the way, is this not giving you um, 2014 vibes, the horse trailer with the, the Mamba and I used to stack them in there. If you're OG, you know that I used to stack these everywhere. My hat collection, which I don't find excessive at all. Um, so anyway, it's giving, giving me all sorts of like warm and fuzzies. But here is my inverter remote and it just shows you like that the battery is full and all that jazz and all of the technical stuff is in here. We don't need to go in there. I don't need to touch anything in there. Now, if you guys have followed us for a long time on Instagram, you know that I have had this um, electric cooler forever. Now it's off, but if I turned it on, I bought this, it's, a, it's called a GoSun. This has a solar charge. This is what started the whole thing was this, this ice chest. It's actually like a freezer if you want it to be. Um, and it has a solar charger on it, which started me on this whole path of like checking out renovated schoolies and um, tiny homes and renovated campers and all of that jazz to see how we could do it better. Because I do not like dealing with typical horse trailer problems. When you have a really big rig, um, we still stay in hotels. So this is not for us to stay in for long periods of time out on the road because there's too many of us in here and we have brand and all of the things. This is just meant to be a retreat. Um, so we don't just have a dressing room and we're pouring down sweat trying to get dressed or we need to heat up a meal or just small um, conveniences that we really needed on the road. But this GoSun, I highly recommend. Again, not spawns. Um, I have no coupon code, I have nothing. And now we have a microwave. And yes, the microwave will run on all of our solar power with all of our stuff running. And I'm really shocked because um, in a typical horse trailer, if you're, <laughs> God forbid, somebody decides to bring a blow dryer and then somebody else is making coffee or the AC is running or something is going on, um, you're up crap creek because you're gonna blow a breaker and then somebody's gotta go out and if your generator's on top of the trailer, you've gotta go out and reset the fuse on top or the reset the breaker on top to, in order to be able to get your rig to work. Oh, there's hush money, look how cute she looks. I don't know if I can see you. Oh no. The only thing that this trailer doesn't have now is a big closet rod. So we're gonna have to figure out exactly how we're gonna do that. I think First of all, Cody packs so effectively, I pack pretty effectively, and now we have all around bags on Ranch Dressin. If you haven't seen them, they're like these ridiculous backpacks. It's like luggage. Um, the first intention was for it to be a rope bag, but I've been using it for brand and to put all of my stuff for the day. I can put enough stuff for him to go for two weeks in this all around bag. So I'm thinking I'm gonna pack two of those, one for me, one for him, and be able to slide them right under here under the storage bench and be able to keep this as our storage. The coolest thing about, about our rodeo shirts and like shameless plug for ranch dressing, but our rodeo shirts are freaking cool and they are spandex material and they slide over your head just like a hoodie or t-shirt and all the rest of the buttons are faux. This is for all you guys that are brand new here because we've been doing this for a hot minute and these sell out incredibly fast. 
and we wear nothing else but this. Like I do not ever want to feel tightness in my shoulders ever again, as long as I run barrels. So we made these rodeo shirts and they're absolutely phenomenal. But what's cool about them is that they're machine washable and you can throw them in a bag like this, pop them open and be ready to run barrels and not worry about them being wrinkled or being crazy. These are going to look absolutely gorgeous every single time. So I can fold them up instead of worrying about where I'm going to hang them. I can fold up my rodeo shirts and my jeans, put them in that all around bag and kind of fix that storage problem that we have. So I'm very excited about that. Here's just a small little thing on this wall. There's not just a ton. Um, I do need to put like, we need to put some stuff in here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, but we need to put something for like after we run. I've kept a coat here, I've got Poppy's coat, a couple of pair of jeans, Cody's shirts that she's gonna run in. One of my hats goes up here, but I do feel like, I do feel like we could have had like a little corner space. Mm -hmm. But um, again, I gave her zero indication of what it is that I wanted and she absolutely killed it. Um, so this is plenty of space right here and I'm pretty sure the all around bags can fit under there really comfortably. I can pop a couple, at, we can put probably one for everybody. If you guys watched um, Building a Brand, we have a new warehouse. So like if we need to store stuff somewhere, we literally have 3000 square feet that we can store it and we need to quit being like, quarters of all of our stuff in horse trailers. Just easier to do it that way because you know everything's with you and you don't have to think to pack. But Cody's gotten into a new routine of everything being like crisp and perfect and clean after every single jackpot or rodeo or barrel race. So now I'm falling into that routine with her and it has been just like 25 times easier, especially because then you do that and you put your eyes on absolutely everything and you have this really cool matchy matchy thing, which on the road back in the day, 2011, 2012, 2013, um, I was the most matchy matchy. And now we have like saddle sacks and colored saddles and hats and all these different things that we can put with it, but we're really busy and a new baby. And so it makes it harder for me to think about all that stuff. So I relied on Cody filling the trailer with all the stuff and things, and then Jesse designing all the stuff and things. And then me hoping that I remember just to bring myself <laughs> <laughs> and some sweatpants <laughs> and praying to God somebody's got me. But now that I'm in a little bit better routine with brand here, Alex has been an incredible dad and fallen into a really good routine. So now I'm a little bit more aware and can put my stuff in here. So I'm excited for that. I actually need to get loaded up for the rodeo for tomorrow. Um, I'm still trying to decide what horse to run. I've made up my mind in my mind, but you know, just because I'm human, I'm still tossing it around all over the place. Um, but I'm going to get loaded. Um, are you wearing this tomorrow? Are you wearing, yeah, that's what I'm wearing. you're in this. So we're both going to wear turquoise and, um, she's wearing teal buckaroo. I'm going to wear Jade cowhide. You guys can find that at ranchdressing.com. Okay. So yes, the trailer is basically brand new. And even though we've hauled it for a year now, this trailer is brand new to us and we think it's amazing. I know when I go to sell it, you guys are going to freak out and somebody's going to want this thing like that fast. It's not for sale yet. We are going to rodeo in this bad boy for a little while. Um, however, do you guys remember all the times you've seen us break down on the side of the road? The Dodge, how we acquired Katniss Aberdeen, all of the stuff and things. We might have overdone it. We might have, we might have overdone it. Um, we have acquired a lot of trucks. When one goes and breaks down, we're going to get us another one. Now there is one at home that you're not going to be able to see on this vlog. It's a 2019 King Ranch. Um, it's at the house in Dallas and Alex has made it like his daily driver. He's obsessed with it, but I'm going to show you guys all the trucks. So if we break down, we're going to, we got a backup and our backups got a backup and our backup to that backups got a backup. And even though some of the backups are old enough to drink and vote, they're still an operational motor vehicle. So let's go check them out. Welcome to truck talk with that. <laughs> okay. But seriously, um, this is the, I think it's a 2022. I think it's a 22. This is a Ford 350 King Ranch. Um, I bought this bad boy a year ago and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. So this doesn't replace Katniss Aberdeen, but this is what we're going to be driving all year because Katniss, you can't fit a baby seat in the back. And that's obviously an issue that we have to address. So this beautiful King Ranch 2022, this is our main chick. This is the main, this is wifey right here. We are going to assume that she's going to make it all year. 
but we're preparing for the very worst. Okay, so I tend to cut a few corners when it comes to the truck thing and drive my trucks until they literally can't go anymore. The Dodge that you saw break down had 300,000 miles on it. The 2014 um, King Ranch 450, that had like 270,000 miles on it. So what I've done is replace those trucks. So the 2019 King Ranch F350, I sold my 14 and upgraded it to a 19. We've got this 22. I will go show you guys the other rigs that we have just in case. So if you see us broken down, it shouldn't be for long. I'm pretty sure Katniss is a 20. 2020 Ford F350. She's a cab and a half um, XL. She's hooked up to the Barrel Horse Battleship that we're trying to replace maybe to get like, I'm trying to make adult decisions. Do we paint the entire ranch and give her a makeover or do we get a really flashy seven horse to go down the rodeo, like Futurity Road? because we have like eight four-year-olds. I think survey says we paint the ranch and keep this. Goldilocks, this has been here. It's a 7.3. People that love Fords know that 7.3s are, they're legendary, they're, they, don't, they don't go anywhere, nobody wants to sell them. That's why we have this. This is a like 2000 or 2001, she's old, really old. I won the AQHA World Championship in 2018 in this truck, do you know why? because a newer truck let me down. And so this truck right here, by God, ain't going anywhere. We used to use this as the mail truck every single day. This was Santa sleigh for Ranch Dressin to get all of your packages from ranchdressin.com to your house via the post office. But now we got a bigger mail truck. Thank you for the support. We've been able to upgrade um, to a mail truck and be able to take more packages at once. So that's been a huge blessing in our life. Um, but we have this here because we still need to go shuttle boxes back and forth between warehouse one and warehouse two, etc. So Goldilocks, she's sticking around. Now let me show you Alex's new purchase. Did we need this truck? No, not even a little bit. Did he want this truck really bad? Absolutely. Did he use the power of manifestation because he and his friend discussed having a flatbed Dodge on the ranch? Yes. So be careful what you say, positive or negative, because your body is going to try to seek out the things that you speak into existence. This happens to be what Alex has spoken into existence. This is a 2000 Dodge Ram 3500. Check out the dash. If it's not locked, he might have locked it. Oh, okay, it's open. Check out the dash. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh -huh. It smells like bad decisions and heavy ranching. Uh -huh. You know, it's a, it smells like you think it would smell for sure. And he's got, and he's got two cows now. So if he shows up looking like, um, you know, Dale Brisby when he plays like the old character dragon feed to his cows, that's what I'm envisioning. I don't know if that's like his life dream or what's going on here, but we love it. We love this thing. Now this, this might be, if you're a Ford fan, which you're, I know you're gonna tell me in the comments, Ford or Dodge and, and whatever it is, what it is. We want operational vehicles. I don't care if it was brand name your mom, if it hooked up to the trailer and got us to the rodeo, we'd be stoked to drive it. But Ford fans will love the F-350 limited edition. This bad boy, this is like, and I think this is a year 2000 also. Check out the back seats. This is where, this thing is minty minty captain seats we got the burl wood in the middle i mean this thing's yeah it's this thing's minty fresh it's just here <laughs> it's just here and it's very like th this is the thing alex was like this is the truck we got to get this truck and i agree this is a really cool truck the problem is the captain seats that are such like a baller move because this is the Maybach, Maybach of like the early 2000 trucks with the captain seats in the back. The problem with that is, is that you're tired, real tired when you head to a rodeo. You need a bench seat to be able to like lay down or have your baby seat in the back and have two jockeys in the back. There's a lot of things. So this probably won't be going far, but it is really cool. So that's the, that's the fleet of trucks that we currently have. Um, and hopefully we'll make it to all the rodeos without a hitch this year. You guys have watched the vlogs. You know we're not not going to break down. We're super going to break down at some we point. We break down in sheds. Yes, we do. We break down in dodges. In dodges. We break down in 
What else? I mean, if there's a Toyota, we'll break down in it. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, well, Brand has been very patient with us, giving you guys the tour. I hope that you guys are uh, following him on Instagram, the Brand McRae. Hey, don't be, don't be crazy. Let's go see your horses. All right, it's time for us to go practice, do the mom and thing, get with the program, get our colts ready. You guys heard how many four-year-olds we have. It's time to go get them ready and head to the next rodeo. I might even be entering some paternities this year, so I'm super excited about that. You guys, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, ding the notification bell, and as always, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time.